Hi guys, for this next video we're going to do span. Now span is the, the point from the centre of the boat out to the centre of the pin. Uh, what span does is affects your gearing, and I'm not going to go into uh, how it affects it because it's quite complicated, but uh, suffice to say that the closer your, your pin is to the centre of the boat, the greater the arc is that you're going to row. And so it's important that you set the span, a span that's appropriate for your height and your ability so that you're rowing an arc that is optimal for you. Um, I'm not going to continue to talk about what you should exactly do because that differs so much for different people at different levels of ability and also their bi uh, biomechanics and their anthropometrics and that sort of thing. But a standard span in sweep boats is about 83 centimetres to 84 centimetres for eights, around 85 centimetres for a four, and 86 centimetres for a pair. Uh, for doubles, singles, doubles, and quads, you, your standard spans vary from um, 156 in a single for really short people, uh, that's quite extreme, uh, to one, uh, 162 for really tall people, uh, even 163. I coached a 6 foot 10 athlete once who rode with a 163 centimetre span and a scale. Standard span, I would say, is for shorter or lightweight crews is around 158. Um, out to 159 is a fair, fairly generic um, scaling span and um, 160 is probably generic for heavyweight men's screws. Now the difference between a sweep span of say 86 centimetres in the pair versus a sculling span of 50, uh, 159 centimetres in a, in a double for example is that in a sweep boat span is me measured from the centre point of the boat to the centre point of the pin whereas in a sculling boat the span is measured from the centre point of each pin. And we'll go over both how to set span in a sweep boat and how to set span in a sculling boat. So the first thing we need to do when we span the boat is we need to measure the width of the boat because we want to find the centre point of the boat. You can see that this boat here has got really nice reference marks for where square off is on the boat. And you want to try and do all your measuring from those marks, so you're measuring from the same point. The next thing is you can see the boat's 56 centimetres wide. So half of 56 is 28. So what we do <clears throat> is 28 becomes 28 centimetres becomes the centre point of the boat. And from there we'll now measure our span. Okay, so you can see now I'm holding the tape measure on the 28 centimetre point, which is giving me the halfway or the midpoint of the boat. And we want to measure from the midpoint out to the pin. And you can see here on the swift boats, they come with stickers, which are quite convenient for the span. And you can see that my tape measure correlates exactly with the sticker on the boat. And you can see that the, this boat, the span at the moment, the centre of the pin, is set to 86 centimetres, which is a fairly standard uh, span for a, a pair. Okay, so just as we did with the sweep span, what we want to do is measure the half point of the boat. So even though in theory we're wanting to set the distance between the centre of each pin when we're doing sculling span, we just set the span just like we would in a sweep boat. So we treat each pin individually. So the boat is 55.5 centimetres wide, as you can see here. Half of 55.5 is 27.75. So if we move the tape measure to 27.75 and if we come out to the pin, you can see that the swift boats have these convenient stickers on them. And you see that the sticker says 78, 79, 90. Now that's half span. Now we want the span to be on 159. So a half span of 159 is 79.5 centimetres. And you can see here, that this span is probably, the centre of the pin at the moment is probably just outside the 79 mark. So to be perfect, I would be looking to uh, move that uh, pin just out a fraction so it, it gets to the 79.5 centimetre mark. And you, what you do is you do this for both sides of the boat. Um, so you calculate what span you want, figure out your half span, figure out the centre point of the boat, and then measure out 
to get your, your half spent. 